Are you copying my idea now? No, my idea. You always point out his? Yeah, I said it before you even thought of it. All right. Well, this is coming home, and we're getting it ready for uh, hunting. So, of course, it's going to start. We're not worried about that. Uh, mind you, he never let it run that long to recharge the battery. So, yeah. Let's just say, see what's going to happen. There's the old fart. And uh, let's just hope the battery's charged. I'll start up the camera when he's ready. Okay, this time I'll stay at the back when he starts it. I hear the pumper wanker. It's a new battery, so it should go. Something's rattling over here. Door. There you go. Still starts up a little too easy. And no smoke, man. Whoa, I just hit a low spot. <laughs> Is that? I, whoa! Stop there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, I Look at that. you drive out. Holy. Be Is that ever soft right here? Look at this. Put your foot there. Yeah, I know. I know. It's like six down. It's like more. But don't destroy your driveway, man. Yeah. It's soft, though. Well, it's only right there, so. Well, yeah, steam. And it won't start smoking until you hit the road. Yeah. Uh, if you going to burn oil, here's where we'll see it. Right here. At the stop sign when he takes off. If I can focus. There you go. Don't fire rocks at me, old fart. No, not burning oil yet. And of course I got a hitch down there that's shaking like a bastard, so yeah. And then everyone burned to drop oil, but you smell oil. So I smell it, but I didn't see it. Might have. I think my truck needs a car wash now. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, needs a truck wash. <laughs> so we're making our list for hunting and he's checking it twice. <laughs> I saw white you got, duct tape I got. I see anything embarrassing that you got on there? Oh, peppermints. Ah, oh, you I don't, don't have, like I thought you were going to say your preparation H. Oh, these go in the truck. Dad, those are like five years old. They're still good to go. <laughs> so I got my chainsaw in here. I'm not going to bring any to steel chainsaws. Just going to bring, uh, the cheap Echo, got my uh, generator in here, got a blanket underneath, just uh, that's a work blanket for working on vehicles and stuff if we have to crawl underneath one. Uh, I still gotta go through my hunting backpack there and all that other stuff. I was gonna bring some of the other chainsaws, but nope. You got all the stuff on top of the toolbox and in the bottom of the door, the toolbox. And all the yeah, stuff. we're just stocking, piling shit up here. Uh, when we go, by the way, uh, we bring way more than we ever would use. 95% uh, of it we don't touch, but we plan... We can live a week out there without anything. Dad, we can live forever out there. Well, yeah, but I'm just saying without anything else, without even getting the... Uh, I know, I know. But where we park is a dead zone, no cell phone service, no nothing. Uh, yeah, we'll have the truck, the quad, and the motorhome there, so it's not like we're going to get stuck, but... Yeah, the, this is stuff that we probably won't use for a few days, so... Might as well shove in my uh, Aspen fuel... That could fit in here. Yeah, keep all your fuel and your oils and shit in there. Exactly what I'm doing. Uh, and other than that, we still got so much work to do. Uh, today is uh, Friday night. Yeah. Tomorrow, we got to get the motor home in shape, check it over, and uh, we'll be leaving Sunday morning or Sunday, Sunday midday. So, yep. Yeah. yeah, Sunday midday, probably. Yeah, we need the battery charger there still. If it focuses, we need a battery charger, my boots, uh, my hunting horde piles here, well, my other bag there, my helmet, my other shit, that bag, the, of course, the guns, computer. Uh, I might, instead of running the computer in the motorhome, I'm probably just going to pick up a, another Android TV box because they use 17 watts instead of 85 or 90 watts like this freaking antique does. So, yeah. Oh. And I think we got company. Yes, Who is? Oh, Darren Sharon. Darren Sharon. Oh, I just see a reflection from the lights. You should fucking go park in front. There's a little bit there. Yeah, you should, hey? Whatever. 
See what he's up to. Son of a bitch. What's up, Buttercup? Hey, hey, hey this is the boy. Oh, you got bullets? That's the one. Okay, you're on video. Oh, hey. How's it going, eh? Oh, that's just the stand. That's nothing. Oh. That's uh, my buddy Mitch said it was a. Yeah, he just has to get the hollow point. So this is the military uh, black tip ones. Uh, you wouldn't want. You would. You go to jail if you hunt with those. It has to be a uh, hollow point. That's and what that's wanted. all I. That's all I have. Uh, this is what he wanted. But... <laughs> yeah, if he wants to go hunting with that, he can do that himself. No, 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 no. That that does a clean pass and doesn't explode in the deer. You want the bullet to spread. But yeah. <laughs> You should do a little flashlight. Yeah, it's a. Uh, How's mine? Bright? Tech light. And you're thinking if we bounce it off, it'll see from the moon. Where you find that? Dollar store? I don't know where I got that, to be honest with you. He <laughs> <laughs> got it at Dollar store. Yeah, he did. Oh, it's 200 wounds. I guess that's what that means, eh? 200 yeah. LM? 200. 200 meters? Is it adjustable? Oh, no, it's probably 200 looms. Yeah, it's adjustable, maybe, so. No, it has to go brighter than that, buddy. No, that's it. What? Because the batteries can be dead. Yeah, it was way brighter when you first turned it on. <laughs> Three triple A's. If it is, throw it away right now. Uh. Yep. Four. Four. Oh, oh no, no, three. three. Yeah, throw it away right now. <laughs> Those are useless. Okay, so I'm just going through my horde of hunting crunch here. Just deciding what I'm going to bring, what I'm not going to bring. Uh, for sure, I got to bring my uh, snowmobile gloves because on the quad, if I ride it, it gets pretty freaking cold. I got my Silver Fire uh, Scout stove. That'll be going for sure. My Expedition bag. And I'm just going through some of my shit here. Deciding what I'm going to bring, what I'm not going to bring. This hat I do like. Two rolls ass wipe. Always need that. Uh, survival rations. Medical kit. Leatherman. I'll probably leave this Leatherman at home. GPS I'll probably leave at home. I don't really... I don't think I used that once. Weather radio. I'll probably bring that. Uh, tools, I'll probably leave those uh, in the front bin of the quad so they won't go into my bag. Got my pipe here, some pipe tobacco, uh, this jet torch, bring that. Uh, I am going to bring uh, the through night TN12, through night TC10, and the TH10. Those three lights are coming. This one here is just my energizer, has two settings, probably bring that with me. Uh, the Wetterling axe, K bar knife. Uh, and other than that, uh, this is a Benchmade uh, 162, I think it was was the model of it. Uh, 162, yes. You want to show up on there. So, yep. Should sharpen that before I go. So, sharpened axe already. Low knife. Uh, the knife I have in here and a few other ones. So, but. What are you guys, you're already uh, dreaming about camping, aren't you? Oh, my lord, look at those steaks, man. Holy shit. Oh, I was a good everybody's home, oh, my lord. Yeah. yeah nice. He's just dreaming about camping already, hey? Like. Yeah. <laughs> I love this. I was just sitting on the steak on oh, Whose video are you watching? Robert's or? No, Mitch's. Mitch's, okay. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, man. That's the way to do it, right on the stone, hey? Yeah. And you got the air compressor in here and a few other things in there. Bringing the little, uh, uh, Echo 330 T top handle, and other than that, uh, some booster cables, gas for the generator. Just had Dairy Queen. Uh, this bag here, I gotta go through, so gotta grab my stuff out of that. Decide what I'm gonna bring, what I'm not gonna bring, and same with this hoarder pile of shit. And then I still in those two bags there, and uh, I still got my hunting gun cleaning stuff, muzzle loader stuff, all that's in the house. I gotta go through that, so. Uh, yeah, it's going to be an interesting night. Okay, this unorganized mess is actually starting to make sense. I almost have an idea what I'm going to bring. Uh, I was going to bring this guy here, but I'll leave this at home. So this is my more EDC knife. So, yeah, I'll leave this guy at home. Don't need to use that. Uh, even though the fixed blade here is, you can see, a lot smaller. <laughs> so this is great for cutting the throats on deer. So that's kind of why I was thinking of bringing it, but... No, I'll leave that one at home, and I'll just bring uh, this guy here, and this guy here. So, and probably this little guy here. That's all I'm going to bring for knives, right there, those three.
Well, the old man's cleaning out the RV with the vacuum, so, and, uh, yeah, I don't think he's using a proper filter, because, man, is it dusty in there. So, yeah, I'm just, uh, sharpened this axe, gave it a tape, this is my emergency axe, this is, uh, it's just a cheapie that I picked up, so, yeah, you know, I'm giving it a wrap with, uh, hockey stick tape down the whole handle, which I do on all my axes, and then, because this one here doesn't have much of a fawn's foot, I'm going to build this up a quarter inch, just so your hand never slips off the edge. And of course, what really sucks the worst about hunting season right now is I'm starting to catch a cold, so I'm on the Fisherman Friends hard right now. That really, really blows. And of course, on the prime times, hard, so, as you can tell. So yeah, I'm just going through my hunting stuff, getting this axe going. Uh, we do have multiple other axes. This one here is just a Swiss... Uh, uh army one some people say they're replicas but i believe they're original old stock is what i could see uh they're cheapies i picked them up uh 25 bucks a piece can't go wrong for that i was planning to put a new handle on this one to give it a full size handle but you know it's perfect actually for the quad i got two of these and two of the hatchet versions so and about 10 other axes but yep it's just doing this going to spend a little bit of time doing this and then i got some other work to do and right here's the main axe i'll be using it's my Wetterling, so that's the main one. That's what was staying in the motor home. So, still going through the junk, and now what I'm going to do is uh, take the 22 inch Dell monitor that we have in the in the motor home. I'm actually going to downgrade to a 19 inch or an 18.5 inch LED monitor because the new LED ones normally use under 20 watts, where that old tank of one uses 75 to 80 watts. So, give us a little bit more run time because. Uh, we want to try to get down to like a 3 amp to 4 amp draw on the entire system when we're watching movies. Okay, so I decided I went picked up a new monitor. That's a 18.5, 19 inch uh, LED. I believe it's an LED. I'd have to look. Anyway, that monitor uses less than 20 watts. The old monitor uses 80 watts of power. So going, that's, you know, that's one third the uh, power right there and then i decided okay well maybe i'll go a little bit more and i got this this thing uses less around 20 watts of power where the pewter uses 90 watts so oh, yeah by the way talking about computers if uh anybody's watching this you want to see a tour of the inside of the motorhome that's what i'm putting up right now that's what i'm editing is a tour of the inside of the motorhome or the hunting shack or fishing shack redneck or rv uh... redneck rv on wheels Anybody, like I had a lot of you guys asking, you know. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Are you trying to give yourself a shout out on my channel? Yeah. Drive Shaft Brew's channel, guys. Come check it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he's playing around with his if it's, if it's water tank for his squirter juice. Yeah, my squirter juice had a hole in it, so I just epoxied it up, but it's not quite dry yet. So, and we're, we're just doing a few touch-ups on that before we go on these and being lazy at the same time. So... <laughs> Yep, and uh, anyone needs to know the specs of this guy, this is the Mini X, or Min X, people call them different names, Neo Z64 unit. So it's pretty much top of the line for Android TV boxes, in my opinion. This is using Intel chipset, and uh, here's some specs on it. This system will run Windows 10, Windows 7, Windows 8.1, anything you want. And what I like about it is I don't have to drag my laptop with me if you stay here. Yep. So there's some of the specs. 5 volts, it uses 3 amps at 5 volts. So yeah, that's a lot less power than uh, the laptop runs. So, and I just got a message from YouTube user AG Snake Man that he's on his way. <laughs> and I'm going to be upgrading the, this to an Android 5.0. Me, actually, no, nah, I'll probably just keep it at 4.44. Yeah, so basically for tonight, all we're going to do is a few more things and we're ready to go. Yeah, and I'll load the sucker up with some uh, movies before we go. Show them our supply rack. Uh, I already got that in my other videos. Oh, okay. Right here's some of the goodies it comes with. Just a basic remote control, which I'll not be using this. I'll be using uh, my keyboard and mouse combo, the little mini one I use. Uh, some more specs there if anyone cares. So I'll be running uh, XPMC Cody on it. Will be the main thing I'm going to be running. So there you go. Drying. It's dry. <laughs> really? Yeah, well, I want that so I test to make sure my epoxy dry before I put it back together. Holy crap there, buddy. It's not dry, dry. Yeah. Well, I'm going to bench test this all, hook it up. I'm using a HDMI to VGA converter, so I want to make sure it's going to work with this before I actually install everything. And right there is the old tank I'm using right there. 
I should actually double check how many watts that guy uses. So, but I'm sure of it if I remember right. This thing's 75 or 80 watts. And attack of the ladybugs. They're still out in full force. I, I don't like them. So that one's going to go outside. Yeah, gone. And uh, just for size comparisons. Yeah, that one's going to be quite a bit smaller. But again, we don't really need uh, the bigger screen in here. So, actually, I guess I'll bench test it in here. Why not? What's the battery at? 15 volts, 87%. Yep, yeah, and that's reading there at almost, uh, looks like 15 and a half according to my gauge. But there we go. And I got power in here, so I'll bench test everything. And I got power up on here. Uh, this inverter here. And all this wiring down here will now be moved. The speaker here, I'll have one speaker on each side of the monitor. And it is wall mounted. We got it bolted right through. Yeah, I know a lot of this might be uh, the same stuff a lot of people seen last year about the motor home, but yeah. So yeah, of course my dad's bed here. He has the fat bed that's like a lot wider than mine. So, <laughs> and my camera doesn't want to focus in here. Uh, charging cable. There's my uh, charging studs that I put on there, and you won't really see back there, but I got the solar panel charger right there. So, and according to the solar charger showing that the batteries are fully charged, so this thing here always pumps in a little bit extra. So, uh, and we do use the solar panel too when we're uh, camping. So, got our bins up top there. Uh, my dad did put a full video about the motorhome. Uh, I installed this wood stove a second year we had the motorhome here. Uh, it's three quarter inch or five eighths drywall all around it. And then we put the tin on it. And on this side here, even touching the drywall, it never gets hot. It's like lukewarm at the most. So, and here we got this rack here that we can put gloves up here for drying. And uh, through the tin here, it is hot up here, but not hot enough to light a fire. Up the top here, it's just lukewarm. And same with this wall. There's no issue whatsoever with this monitor getting too hot. So it just stays nice and lukewarm. So, uh, thing I do want to do if I get time is I'm going to drill a hole right about there. Probably about a three inch hole. I'm going to put in a grate on it or something on both ends. And it'll just be to feed extra air in here because right now... All we have is the vent up on the roof there and this vent for fresh air and we leave the doors open on the front of the cab and you can see there's plenty of air space. So we leave the front windows open a crack overnight. So, and this is our cold storage behind that wall. This is fully insulated with a, uh, well, not really fully insulated. We left this gap. Yeah, I could, we could have technically uh, filled that gap in with something, but it's nice to have a little bit fresh air when we have a wood stove. We don't want to kill ourselves uh battery banks under there uh if we did put a heavy charge to this like a diesel generator to charge it i'd have to drill holes and put some venting for the batteries out the back because when you charge batteries they do make a gas uh with the little charger here we're only charging at 12 amps i'm not going to worry about that so and of course storage underneath both beds and our firewood uh stack under there and just random cupboard shit so no sink no pooper just very basic kind of like a hunting shack and uh, we just installed this little gauge on here, so a little bit handy, see how warm it is after a while, but sweet. Now watch this, son of a bitch. Ah, you got that. You bring any weed? No. No? Oh man, that's son of a bitch in you to see if you said yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh fuck. <laughs> uh, nothing. Nothing. Fucking fresh out. Yeah. Yeah. So this, this is the first time you've been in here, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. We're, so. Got some little heat going? No, it's not going now, but uh, uh, I was thinking of it. I was thinking. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just changing this monitor here. Instead of using a laptop, I'm switching to an Android TV box. So that thing has a, uh, more power than most phones. <laughs> Actually, it's about the same power as most smartphones. But the thing is, I don't need a full-size laptop. Yeah. More fuel efficient. So yeah, yeah, that monitor I'm getting rid of, it's too big. Yeah. That thing draws 75 watts of power, which you wouldn't know what that means. Yeah. The new monitor dri drives one third of that, 25 watts roughly. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, I guess I'll shut this off and we'll smoke a hey, do, uh, smoke. I bet you like can do some growing in here with all the, you get some lights and. <laughs> yeah, uh, or uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, 
Breaking Bad style. <laughs> uh, yeah, people probably wonder when they see this parked out here, eh? This is like, this would be my bed up here. Right? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See you later, asshole. <laughs> you always start the video. <laughs> okay, so I got it hooked up here. Just got to reboot it here. Show you guys how it looks. If I could click. Your computer's tooting. Yeah. <laughs> Freaking cigars, man. It actually boots up almost like a computer, too, with the Intel chip. So you can basically do everything off the same thing as the phone. It's like yeah, an Android. Better, no, instead of bringing my laptop, we bring this. Yeah, that little guy it takes uses... takes up a lot less space. I don't have to worry about my laptop getting broken. And if I end up getting ticked off with Android, I'll install freaking uh, Windows 10 on it or Windows 7 or yeah. Windows XP, whatever I want. I like the Android. So, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, so Android box fully finished, doing all the updates and everything. Got the old screen off the wall here. Brackets just sitting there. Another reason why we're changing it, we realized last year that the heat was actually causing this to overheat. It's only a 100 watt power adapter or uh, conver inverter. And last time we were running the 75 watt monitor on it and the, pretty much the speaker. So that's pretty much it. So 100 watts will be more than plenty for uh, the new system here. And uh, I'll be saving the 80 watts pretty much, or 90 watts that the laptop inverter, which is behind there. I got a DC 12 volt to 19 volt buck converter mounted back there. I'll show you guys. I'll just turn on my light. Okay. So you guys can see it. Uh, not really. Hey? There's my kill switch. That's how I disable my power. But, uh, nope. Right there. Nope. That's my light. I got my light back there. So it just gives you a little bit of light if I need to see it. But no, you can't even see where the buck converter is. It's just buried in there, probably underneath all those cabling. So yeah, so for now, I'll just be pulling that panel off and disconnecting it temporarily. But I might leave it because we could still plug in our laptop to it. So good for editing videos on the road. Well, one thing I like, at least I was smart enough when I ran this wire to leave it long enough. Look at that, I could put the inverter right up on the wall there to power everything. So yeah, that's good. This is the laptop cord right here, and that's the tangled mess of wires right down to the ground. Let's see what my battery's at here. 15.2 volts, it'll go right up to 16 volts on the battery bank. Uh, that way we know we're well, well charged, because according to that inverter, it's uh, already off. Let's see what we got down here. Oh yeah, almost at 16. So, yeah, that's going to be a nice hot charge on those batteries which are just under there, which if you want to see what they look like, you got to watch my dad's video because he made a video showing them or watch my video from last year when I installed that system. So yeah, just playing around here with that mostly and uh, somewhat doing some work at the same time. Okay, so basically the way it's going to work is the Android box is going to be mounted right on the back of this wall mount here. And uh, that way it should keep everything a little bit nice and tidy. Now, here's the bad thing. This takes 120 volts. The speakers I'm going to use is just shitty Logitech ones, 120 volts, and a monitor 120 volts. So I might have to mount this ugly power bar underneath it, or I can use one of these. Now the thing is, if I use this, I got to make a one foot extension cord to go from my inverter that's going to be mounted up here, and uh, just have this mounted uh, on the back of this bracket here. I want to actually mount everything to this so I can remove it for the winter just with the two safety screws and unplug the whole system. So, because to be honest, the Android TV box, having another one in the house would be kind of nice. It's kind of, you know, $300 worth of stuff to leave in here would kind of suck seeing I only use it for two weeks a year. Well, there we go. That's how it's going to stay. Yes, I would hate, I kind of hate using the 120 volt. That kind of looks ugly. It will stick out a little bit on this corner, but once it's up there, I'll be able to tweak it to kind of hide it. And there you go. One plug plugs it in. Speakers, I am thinking of mounting them on the sides here because there is plenty of room. So just on the sides somehow, that way it is a standalone system, as in I unplug it, loosen two screws and the whole thing lifts off. Great for storage over the winter. But I might just mount these on the wall for a bit better sound. It sounds like the old man's trying to start up the motorhome. Not so loud in here. I don't know why I got that mounted. I just gotta mount the speakers and kinda tweak some stuff. Yes, I know the Android box is sticking up a little bit higher, but I kind of did it on purpose so I could plug stuff in. And right here's my new system. Android TV box back there. Speakers up top. 
power, 100 watts is powering the whole system. It's actually only drawing about 50, so a lot less than a normal computer. It's a little bit rigged up back there, as you can see, but there we go. And once again, the old farts playing on his computer instead of helping me work, like I'm doing right now. Just smoking my uh, dirty cigar stash. And uh, that is one hell of a tarp that we got to roll up now. And it's a little bit muddy and, you know, wet. We just let it dry. That's one we normally cover the motor home in the winter with. So we're going to wrap that up. And then after that, basically all we have to do is go through a couple bags and start packing <laughs> the stuff into the motor home. Okay, so we're testing the system, quite literally. Old man being lazy. I am in my bed. I got my cigar. I got my water. I got my TV. What more do I want? As long as we don't light ourselves on fire in the beds, sure. Uh, well, well, that bond wouldn't hurt either, I guess. Yeah, that's a good point, eh? <laughs> uh, we're watching alone because we're only on episode five. We fell behind uh, quite a long time ago, so. <laughs> Another yeah. chance to catch up, yep. Yeah, okay. So let me continue. A little bit cold. <laughs> well, it's now uh, Sunday morning, and we hope to be leaving probably within the next uh, couple hours. Just got to do some final stuff. It was meant to snow last night again, but we just got rain, then frost. So, <laughs> see if the old man, he claims to be up for an hour. Still playing on your computer being lazy, hey? Yeah. On my video. Lazy man? Yeah. I'm just doing it here. I just do a shout out for you and I just told you to you put on your better put up some more videos. Fashion channel is going to grow, I promise. Curtis did a shout out for you and I will also. Yeah. <laughs> He'll be happy. Uh, while you got on there, that's for Outdoor Empire. Right? I know, I already posted a video about uh, that. Okay, oh, whatever. I thought I'd just let them know. So how are you going to do you just going to leave that open so you can show that on his on your video? Oh, I'm not going to do a video right now. I'll do it later. Oh, yeah. When it's too late? It's never too late. Okay. Well, I guess we'll start organizing shit after I have my smoke Actually, break. Yeah, it's the morning. It's 1030. My old man finally got off his computer. Uh, he just made a shuttle video for my cousin, Outdoor Empire, because he's starting this channel. He might... Uh, I don't know what he's going to do yet on his channel for video-wise, so you guys will have to check him out. Uh, last night we went to fill up our jerry cans, and some of the stuff's in there, but now we're going to AMW for breakfast, and then we're going to finish loading up the stuff. Uh, got to find somewhere to throw out that foam. And other than that, who knows? 